This is the all new DJI Mic 2 with huge improvements over the previous version, like AI noise reduction, so you can use it in noisy environments, has a brand new carrying case that is really good, even has 32-bit float recording, so you can basically scream into this microphone and you're not gonna clip any of your audio. And on top of that, they have a brand new DJI lav mic that sounds super, super good. And stay tuned, because we're gonna listen to that in a little bit. You gotta just press record. So let's start with what's included and how much it's gonna cost you to get started. So if you do wanna go ahead and pick up the DJI Mic 2 kit where it has the two microphones and then it has the one receiver, that is gonna cost you $349. Now there is an option for you to get just one transmitter with one receiver and that is gonna save you some money and it's gonna cost $219. Now over here we actually have a brand new product and this is just the DJI transmitter but it's an all white which is pretty cool and that's gonna come in at $99. So let's talk about the build quality first and then we'll get into some audio tests in a little bit. But first of all, I love the build quality of this case, but also this case that comes with it. And I'll kind of explain why it's kind of genius to have both of these. Uh, but first of all, we have this charging case and this thing is built very tough. It feels very high quality and it's got a little bit of weight to it. And this has a nice locking mechanism, which is a huge improvement over the previous DJI wireless microphone. Now on the back of here, you're just gonna charge this up with USB-C and that is going to charge everything inside of here, including this case, which has a portable battery built inside of it. So when you do take this to go, you kind of got some extra battery life if you put these in here, just like an AirPod case would charge your AirPods, this is gonna charge your DJI microphones. When it comes to battery life, the transmitters and the receivers are going to have a six hour battery life each. And that is an upgrade over the previous version, which was five and a half hour battery life. Now, if you have the charging case and you're using that throughout the day, you could have 18 hours of battery life in total for each of the units. Now over here, we have an extra case. And the reason this is nice is because this can just hold some extra accessories. So as we open this up, it's got the zipper. This is also, I think, just built very well. On the inside of it, we're gonna have some extra room to hold these wind muffs, and this is gonna be great for, you know, reducing that wind noise outside. I have my DJI lav mic all in here, and so any sort of accessories you can put in there, and then right here, you can put that case, and now everything is just in one pouch. And so compared to like the Rode Wireless Pro, you have to carry two of these around and they kind of look the same and it's kind of confusing. And this is just easy. Everything is in here, all your accessories, as well as your charging case in one spot. Super handy, built really well. I love this design. All the transmitters do come with this wind muff and this is perfect for reducing any sort of wind noise. And you just plug that right into the little mic jack. And now you got a little furry head right here on top of the mic. To me, I wish this was all black. This just like, I don't know. I feel like it sticks out too much. It kind of looks like an old man's furry gray head. But hey, you know what? At least the white version does have a nice white muff. And so I feel like this looks pretty good. As far as using these microphones, you could just hold it like this if you wanted to talk straight into it. And this is gonna give you the best audio quality possible. But if you do want to mount it onto a shirt like I am right now, you have this clip on the back, which just allows you to simply put this onto your collar, put it onto your jacket, onto your hat, or you know whatever you wanna do. Now on top of that, there is a very strong magnet on the back of this. And this is gonna be ideal if you're wearing like a cotton t-shirt or if you're wearing kind of like a turtleneck and placing it up here is gonna to be too high. What you wanna do is actually place it more so down here. You can put this magnet on the back side of your shirt or your sweatshirt, and then you can mount it just like that. So here's what it sounds like if you're just talking directly into the microphone. Again, this is gonna give you the best audio quality because the placement of this mic is just Perfect. Then of course you can use that clip and put it on your shirt and this is what it's gonna sound like, like this. And then using that magnet, you can also place it on your t-shirt right here and this is still gonna sound really good, but you have different options which makes this super versatile. To connect it to my phone, I simply just have to plug the receiver into the USB-C or the iPhone lightning adapter port. And then from there, I can start filming. And now just like that, I can start recording content with a wireless microphone directly to my phone. And it sounds really, really good. Now DJI also announced a new lav mic and I was really excited because it's only $39, but it sounds really good. And so let's hear how that sounds compared to just this. And this is what it sounds like with the DJI lav 
mic, which I think sounds even better. I feel like the vocals are a little bit more rich and clear. So I really like how cheap this is, but also the quality of sound that you get from it. And this is a little more discreet and more of a professional setup where you can hide the mic a little bit more. One thing I really like about it as well is that you can rotate the microphone and make it really easy to get the proper placement when you're placing it on a shirt, a hoodie. There's a lot of versatility in which direction you want it to face. Now, when you plug in the lav mic, you can actually lock this in by feeding the wire underneath the actual clip mount. There's a little space for it to go, and this is going to allow it to not be pulled out or accidentally unplugged while you're recording videos. So let's talk about some of the features that I think make this microphone really awesome and really easy and fun to use. And one of those things is the AI noise removal. So let's listen to some tests and hear how it sounds. This is a very extreme scenario right now. We're at an intersection in Las Vegas, but noise reduction is turned off. Uh, in a situation like this, when we turn it on, we'll see how good it is, but I, I don't know how good you can get at an intersection, but I guess we'll see. Noise reduction is now turned on but we're gonna listen back to this and then you'll get my reaction after this. There's no chance that it's gonna help that much, right? I mean, I don't know. I guess AI is pretty crazy these days. So maybe it works really well in an extreme scenario like this. It's possible, but here's what it sounds like if I stop talking, turned on. Now, one of my favorite features with this microphone is 32-bit float recording. This came out on the Rode Wireless Pro and it just absolutely blew the previous DJI wireless mic out of the water because that is just such a cool feature. Well now, DJI Mic 2 has this feature and it is amazing. The reason this is so awesome is because it gives you so much flexibility. So for example, if you ever recorded a video where you talked too loud or maybe even too quiet, you weren't able to recover the audio. It was just clipping because you were yelling into the microphone. Well, with these microphones, when recording in 32-bit float recording, you can recover all those highlights. Kind of think of this as raw video, but for the audio world. Now, it's really easy to turn this on, and then when you record internally on these transmitters, this is going to record in that 32-bit float and to get it then onto your computer so you can use that in editing, all you have to do is connect USB from your computer to the transmitter and then you don't need any apps, which is super nice. You just open up the DJI mic, you pull out the audio files and you can start editing with those. Now, the great thing about 32-bit float is I can literally scream into this microphone and still recover all of that data because I am recording right now. You can see that little red light for recording and this is recording. 32-bit flow. Now, even if it peaks on my camera, I can plug this into my editor and pull all of that back and still have nice, clear vocals. This is me talking super loud. I'm probably clipping all of the audio going into the camera, but that's okay because we can pull all of that back. 32-bit flow recording! Now, looking into the actual menu system, we found that internally, you can actually record up to 15 hours on these transmitters. But once you select that 32-bit float recording, which I highly recommend you do turn that on, it's just the best safety track for you. Then from here, you only have 11.2 hours, but still, that is a ton of space and I'm very happy with that. Another cool feature is auto record. And basically what that means is if you want to always have these backup recordings, just in case, anytime you power up the transmitter, it is just going to start recording automatically and you don't have to worry about starting it up. I also love how you can press record on the transmitter to record internally from the receiver. So whoever's behind that camera, they can actually go up and hit record for the transmitter. And this way you can get that backup recording without having to go up to the person, whoever it's clipped onto and press that button. You can just do it from the receiver, which is super nice. Another upgrade I really appreciate on the receiver is that they have a built-in cold shoe that you don't have to actually take off. So for example, on the previous one, you'd have to take off that cold shoe mount if you wanted to attach it to your phone. But now there's a cold shoe mount just built in to that receiver so you can throw it on your camera and throw it onto a smartphone super easily without having to change things in and out. Another upgrade is that they have presets for different camera models that will set the gain level for you. So you just have to select what camera you are using and when you plug it in, 
everything should be good to go. You just need to control the audio level going into your camera. On the receiver, you also get this little dial. It reminds me of kind of like an Apple Watch dial where you can rotate and spin it to go through the menu settings and then also press down on it to select buttons. And I really like the whole menu system. It's easy to navigate. The screen is easy enough and it's clear and bright. And overall, the build quality, but also the ease of use with that dial is very, very nice. One of my favorite things about this system. One thing I don't totally love about the receiver is there's not a ton of space between the output to the camera and the headphone jack. So some of our headphones that were a little bit thicker actually didn't fit because there just wasn't enough space between these two ports. Now the cameras that we use do have headphone jacks, but if you are wanting to use a camera or maybe a smartphone and you don't have that ability to do headphone out, you would use the receiver. And so you need to use maybe Apple headphones or just something with a smaller blue print that can fit in there. This microphone has 250 meter range, which is 820 feet. Now, if that's true, that's a long distance. And so we're going to test it out right now. So I'm just going to walk for a bit and we're going to see how far this is going to keep track of me. Thank you, Kyle, for the tennis ball. Awesome. We're pretty far. Let's see how Kyle, how far Kyle can throw this tennis ball. Don't throw your arm out. That's got to be at least, what, 150 feet? Kyle's holding his arm because he hurt his arm. I am very far away from this camera. I have no idea if you can hear me. If you can, I'll be very pleasantly surprised. <sighs> It's cold out here. So during the initial test where I started to walk away from the camera, you notice that it kind of cut out a lot. So we're gonna give it another test and see how well it does. In this test, I just wanna walk backwards and really see how far away from the camera I can get before it starts to drop out. Right now, I'm pretty far from the camera. I probably wouldn't get much farther from the camera than this in 99% of situations, but this should be able to go much, much farther. And right now, there's like no one out because it's January and it is super cold outside, but I'm out here in this park. There really should be no interference right now between the microphone, the transmitter and the receiver. And so this should be a really, really good test. It should be clean, even though I'm super far away. It should be able to handle this. Now I'm gonna turn around here. I'm very far away from the camera. I gotta be like 200 feet from the camera. And as you start to turn away, Okay, it's 18 degrees, guys. 18 degrees. How does this microphone do? Now the range does cover up to 820 feet. That's 250 meters, which is a very long ways away, but I found when using it and my back was actually turned to the camera that it doesn't have as strong of a signal. Now, when I was walking back to the camera and I had it connected, it did a lot better. Most people are going to face the camera when they're talking to it, but honestly, if you're gonna be that far away from your camera anyways, you might as well have that backup recording turned on. Now, while we were filming this video, we actually noticed that a few times we had a couple drops in the wireless connection when using the lav mic. And this only happened a couple times. I don't know if it was a fluky thing or what was going on, but this is something I'm gonna have to test over the next few weeks and see if it continues to happen or if this was just kind of a random fluke. The question is, who is this microphone for and is it worth buying? This is by far DJI's best wireless microphone. It's got a ton of really cool features. I love the ability to turn on the AI noise removal, even though I probably will leave it off most of the time because I just think it sounds a little bit better with the vocals. I like the option to turn that on. And I think for beginners who don't want to do any sort of audio editing in post, they could turn this on if they're in a noisy environment and it's going to sound really good. As far as price point goes, I think this is totally fair price point because Rode came out and they were charging $400, but that came with two lav mics. Now, if you buy two lav mics, this is gonna be just a little bit more expensive, but a lot of us don't need two lav mics. Maybe you only need one like me, and this would come in a little bit cheaper and you'd still have the options to do interviews with the two transmitters. The truth is this is an amazing microphone kit and I absolutely love the sound of it. I love all of the features. It's super easy to use. There's so many things I love about it. The truth is I keep comparing it to the Rode Wireless Pro and which one of those should you buy is the real question. The price points are very similar. The features are very similar. So if you want to find my in-depth review and comparison of both of them, then just click on the screen and I'll see you guys in the next video.